if we for whom are coming out of something, and I'm talking about the United States of America, because see, we citizens of the United States of America, and what we don't understand as citizens, right, that this our country, and if it's one person's country, then what happened when that person is taken over? What do the rest of us do? See, so if you don't look at this like uh, uh, King uh, David and Goliath, right? Well, who is David and who is Goliath, right? See, in a country that's not united, then what unites a country that's not united? So if you are not the definition of your name, then should you not carry the name that you are not defining? You say you are the United States of America, but citizens hate citizens. So is the United States of America united by hate? And how can hate stand united without destroying the unity that it's standing on? See, so if we are gonna become the greatest country in the world, right? Then don't we have to become the example of the greatest country in the world? How would citizens from the greatest country in the world hate citizens from the greatest country in the world and that be the greatest country in the world. So see, wouldn't our uh, understanding of an opportunity, right, be the reason why everybody's not getting an opportunity? So wouldn't it only make sense that I, for whom had to make an opportunity, would understand that an opportunity is needed. So why would I sell the opportunity that I know other people need? See, and this is what I'm saying about religion, right? If you believe that Jesus gave you the opportunity to live the way you live, then you should know the value of the opportunity Jesus gave you because you live in that value. But now why would you stop someone else from feeling the value that you feel? Because don't you feel the value of God's love? But do you think a homeless child feel God's love the same way you do? Was you a homeless child? You see what I'm saying? See, it's hard for a person who don't have what you talking about to feel what you feel. They don't have it. How can they feel love if they never had love? You see what I'm saying? So if you are God's love, why are you the devil's confusion? Like why are you confusing a child about God's love, but you telling the child that God loves the child? Well, why don't you show the child love? And then the child will see the love of God. Right, But if you don't believe that you God, then how do the child see God's love in you? They hear about it, right? And you go get in your nice car and crank up your air. You get a child a couple of dollars, but the child go get a sandwich, right? And then in another day, the child hungry again. So did you actually do what Jesus would do? Would Jesus leave the child to starve for the next day? But you say Jesus didn't do you like that because Jesus is the reason why you as comfortable as you are to give the child a piece of Caesar's subscription. But did you give that child to God? See, what about the scripture now that you say you read to show yourself approved, but do you approve yourself through the scripture because you feel like you did something for the child when you gave the child Caesar's subscription? But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus said who he said, he, that what they said, he said, he saw their hypocrisy. So right there, he said that the moment was deceitful and their intentions was wicked. So even though 
he saw the wickedness and the question, the answer is the light for your understanding to discern the wickedness in the question. So he said they was trying to get him to talk against Caesar so they could then go get Caesar to kill him. So you was plot like these people doing me, but they doing, they hiding it behind love. But okay, say if I catch a stroke or a heart attack, see the, then now they done diverted this, uh, the, 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 the threat, right? My truth is a threat to their way of life. See, because now I'm using the scriptures, right, to show you where the scriptures says that what I did in the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange counties in the state of Florida on August 12th in 2008 at 1040 in the morning, as well as in the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 920 in the morning is in, a, is in accordance with the righteous side of biblical history. See, because I did what the Bible said, you for whom read it to show yourself approved would be destroyed for lacking. And then I loved you enough to come out of court with your protections and then showing you how to live freely without money, or without a uh, condemnation, right? See, I'm saying, hey, look, you all are stopping me from living my American dream because of what you were sold religiously. So now you not coming at me to get the blessing that I got for you. You coming at me to give me your blessing. And I'm saying, well, is it your blessing if it's not coming from you? See, what I'm giving you is the opportunity to become me, right? But not me in the sense of uh, what I'm doing, but me in the sense of you, because I have never been able to be me. Look how many things I had to be able, to, that I had to become just to prove who I was. So how am I not all of the things that I became now, right? You saying that I wasn't a male man, then you saying I wasn't, I didn't teach myself the law and be a lawyer, a judge, and a prosecuting attorney, and I didn't emancipate us. I'm saying, see, that's all on y'all. But I know what I did, and I can give you the same written evidence that you say that you read the Bible, that's your written evidence to show yourself approved. And I'm saying, well, if I'm, if if I was once a rich man and you are now a rich man, well, why are you not giving up your riches and give it to the poor? You over here trying to get me to give you more riches by saying you converted me. And I'm saying, well, how can you convert me with your opinion of someone else's testimony, but I can't convert you with my truth for which is my legal testimony that I was given inside the civil and criminal courthouses in Seminole and Orange Counties in the state of Florida on August 12, 2008 at 10.40 in the morning. And then I was given it until I went into the federal courthouse in the middle district of Florida on February 20th in 2018 at 9.20 in the morning as the same person I was when I was in the courthouse. I still don't have no criminal record. And I, that's why I want the two misdemeanors that they put on my criminal, on my record removed because they illegal. But my friends, and who supposed to be supporters of me, is telling me to allow somebody to build an illegal record on me. And I'm saying, well, what is the truth in that? If I let them lie on me, then I make they lie truth. So now who is the children of the devil? My children or their children? Because they the ones lying. They don't have no legal support. To, to support the lie they telling on me, but you want me to give up the legal evidence 
that would give my children the support that they need to go get their inheritance. But see, that's what I'm saying about a slave who never met their father. How can they tell my daughter about her father? She know me. How can you tell my son about his father? He know I'm his daddy. Now, you have never met Jesus. You have never met Allah. So how are you going to convert my children and not be against your Bible that says that you're supposed to honor your mother and your father? Well, wouldn't you be telling my children to dishonor their father? How then are you honoring your father? 